Good morning, students. Welcome to Physical Education class of uh, Plus One. So today we are going to discuss the second part portion of Chapter Six, Physical Activity and Leadership. In the first module, we discuss about what is meant by the term leadership. and what are the qualities of a leader so here we are going to discuss two major topics what is the role of a leader in a team then another how physical education helps a person to be a leader so the first one what is the role of a leader in a team so first and foremost we can see that the person he or she should be supporting and motivated to his team and he should be able to provide a better guidance or effective guidance so he should know that the impulse of his team what are the negatives and the positives of his team and that he should find the remedies and he should find the solutions and by that he should lead them in an effective way so an effective way leadership comes with or effective guidance comes with his motivated and a supportive nature so the person should be really supportive and motivated well motivated uh, that he would be able to motivate his team and support his team in need the second one we can see that he is considered to be the representative of a of the group so he should know that what are the concerns of his group and uh, how to execute the uh, a particular plan when it is required so he should uh, not compromise the goals of the organization and goals of his team and moreover his personal goals so in between all these three triangular format he has to find a solution so he has to execute the plans accordingly he has to attend the seminars and he should try to make himself innovative with the modern ideas that are going on in and around as well as the techniques and technologies used around the world so all these things are to be found uh, with a better blend in him so the person should be considered as a representative of the group so if he is innovative he can change his team also really innovative and adapted with the modern technologies and uh, techniques or uh, technical uh, terms and uh, technology we can see that uh, he should be really representative of the group in a uh, way that he should be able to execute uh, his as well as organization's plan in a better way and the third one his skill to adapt the personal goals with an uh, organizational goals so a person uh, who is considered to be leader he should be really skilled to merge the two type of goals so he should have his personal goals so he should not be personally biased with his goals but at the same time he should keep in his mind that what are the goals of his organization and uh, this organization's goal should not be hampered by his personal goal also that means the uh, his uh, goal or his personal achievements and along with the achievements of his teammates and uh, that should be termed with the achievement of the organization's achievement so the achievement what is the achievement required by the organization that should be uh, his prime goal and uh, based on that he has to make his team ready to adapt with that particular goal and he himself uh, should be able to be adapted with that particular situation and with that particular goal so this is the case we can see that adaptation skill of the personality especially with the goals of himself as well as the goals of uh, our relationship then fourth one we can say that he should be really honest and entertainer and really cooperative so we know that uh, the we discuss about the requirement of honesty in the first module so the person who is honest himself only can be honest with his team and with his organization so that's why the leader should be honest to himself first or herself first and uh, then with his team and uh, with his organization so we can see that uh, he should be able to understand that uh, what are the requirements of his team 
he should not make his team really bold. By his action, his team never should be bold. And if there is such a situation, if they are under a stress, so by the time he should find a way to entertain them, to come out of this particular stress, by that his team would be more, pro uh, more uh, productive. So for that he should be a better entertainer too. And the third one we can see that uh, he should be really cooperative. Cooperative in a sense that knowing the requirements of his team and uh, knowing the requirements of the management or the organization, he should make a compromised sense and uh, he should uh, be able to uh, get the support from, invite the support and cooperation from his teammates and his uh, organization work together, coordinated together by that he should be able to achieve he himself as well as his team would be uh, able to achieve their goals. So for that he should be really cooperative. He should be cooperative with his team as well as with his organization. In a way that he should be able to invite support and cooperation from both sides, from the organization as well as from the uh, team. So this is the fourth point. Then fifth one, we can see that he or she should be considered as a friend, philosopher and a guide. And uh, he or she should be able to share their feelings, opinions, desires. So him, his uh, feelings, opinions and desires should be shared with them. Uh, at the same time, he should be able to uh, understand their aspirations, their feelings and uh, their uh, what you can say that opinions. So they should, uh, he should understand all these things. Therefore, he can just uh, make a better solution for uh, his achievement. So he should, if he or she wants to achieve something, by for that he should be really friendly. Then only he should be really approachable. That means it is not uh, meant that he should uh, be uh, going hand in hand with all the cases. That means. At the same time, he has to just understand that he should keep a better friendship, better relationship with his team as well as with his organization and uh, uh, they should be approachable to him or her. So whenever they require any, uh, whenever they feel any need and by the time his presence should be there and uh, at the same time, they should feel that he is one among us. So that particular oneness feeling should be created through his friendship or friendship approach. Then second one being philosopher, that uh, whenever the team would be facing certain problems and he should have a solution. So this is what considered to be the philosophy, uh, uh, the role of philosophy over there. So he should be, that uh, we have to discuss that what are the philosophies of coming out under that. Uh, in the next uh, module we have to discuss. So uh, here we can uh, see that he should be really a philosopher. He should uh, be, he is meant to. Uh, just take uh, care of his team. He is supposed to be a mentor and uh, a guide. So when they feel the requirement of a leader, by the time his presence should be there. He should guide them in a proper way, in an effective way. So this is the last point required for a person to be the leader. So for the team, the role of the leader is meant to be, he, should be, he or she should be supportive and motivator and uh, considered to be the representative of the group and third one uh, his skill or her skill to adapt his personal or her personal goals with the organizational goals and the fourth one he or she should be orders then and a good entertainer and uh, be a better cooperative person then a fifth one fifth and the last one we can see that he or she should be a friend philosopher and gave to his team. Now we can see that uh, we have to uh, move to the next topic that is creating leader through physical education. How we can train some people, how we can train people to be a better leader. First of all we can see that uh, it develops the training skills. When training is attributed, training is given to a particular person, he is, uh, he should be able to manage training uh, to give training to others. So that means this uh, through the physical education it is meant that giving training to a particular person means to give training to a mass, to more and more people. So that uh, it should be 
uh, be developed like a training and by that we can see that the training skills of, of a particular person is uh, developed with the help of physical education then second one learns to play with confidence so when we play something confidence is considered to be an important fact so without this factor we can see that uh, winning uh, uh, winning or losing that comes up under with the team spirit winning is uh, not possible so we can see that if we want to win the confidence of the team leader as well as the team is considered to be very vital very important and third one we can see that learn one learns to uh, learns how to manage one's stress so when we face stress if we go to play if we just go to play with the same stress by the time it will affect the performance of the team so the team should be free by their mind as well as by their deeds so they should be managed well to reduce their team so then we can see that what is felt when one when we would be playing something when we would be doing something our mind would be engaging to that particular thing and uh, by that we would be just forgetting about the stress so stress reduction comes through play so we can see that uh, physical training or physical education through physical education we are teaching one how to manage one's stress how to face a particular situation particular problem even though he is stressed how specifically he have to uh, uh, he has to manage that particular stress then fourth one we can see that <coughs> learns to face unfavorable movement so when we would be taking the case of uh, winning or losing if it would be winning or losing it doesn't matter playing is considered to be important or participation is considered to be important you might have heard this particular words from the physical education teachers so that means when one would be taking part of a uh, play by the time he is trained to be adapted with the needs of that particular team and uh, he is not supposed to take the winning or losing in his mind so he should be really able to uh, have a better emotional balance so winning and losing or defeat or victory doesn't matter but participation is considered to be uh, 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 really important so this is the thing we learn through physical education so by that we are able to face a stressful or uh, an unfavorable situation so when an unfavorable situation comes in front of us by the time we are able to face it only because we learn that we uh, we have learned how to face defeat and victory so whether it is defeat or victory we have heard such a stories that many students committed suicide because of uh, having fear of losing an examination but a person who is trained uh, from physical with the physical education we can see that that uh, he or she should be really uh, balanced having a better balanced personality would be able to face this defeat uh, as equal with victory then the fifth one it is spirit of uh, togetherness or brotherhood that means in other way we can call in a team spirit when we involve ourselves uh, into the the, uh, into the part of a play or being the part of a play we learn that how to be together or how to uh, be uh, what you can say that uh, keeping a brother sister relationship so there we can uh, see that giving respect to others and uh, taking respect from others this is the way give respect and take respect at the same time we when we are supposed to play in uh, front foot or back foot it is uh, it doesn't matter so whether we just uh, play in the center or uh, <coughs> uh, at the back it doesn't matter whether we are uh, supposed to go as the first bat batsman or the last one that doesn't matter but at the same time what is our role that is to be done in a better way or in the best of way so this is the thing we can see that uh, by that when we would be taking each and every particular player would be doing his or her own part by the time we are just doing one thing that is i am the part of the team the victory is not mine but the victory is of my team so when we just go with the team spirit by the time 
we learn one more thing that we are brothers or sisters so further when we play in one once or twice or even thrice when we would be playing repeatedly playing with the same team by the time we would be making a better relationship like brothers and sisters so feeling of togetherness that is uh, brought to uh, physical education then next one that is learns to respect opponents and rules so this is basically very important so we have heard many stories regarding the harsh uh, behavior of many teams but at the same time indian teams you have heard that uh, uh, cricket uh, is considered to be the gentleman's game so when we take the case of uh, sachin tendulkar you might have heard many stories regarding him so all the players around the world remember him because of one particular nature uh, that he is always calm and cool quiet uh, cool and he is uh, not at all uh, he has never shown his uh, any harsh uh, kind of uh, what you can say harsh sort of uh, behavior whenever he played in any of the games so this is why that particular player is best remembered and best respected than the rest of uh, one of uh, players around the world many players are there we can see that uh, they are considered to be wacky uh, by their play but uh, we can see that it is the same respect that we earn through that respecting opponents so the enemy that means when a particular person comes in from the first by the time uh, uh, we play in that time we do not consider him as uh, an enemy but an, uh, uh, as a respectful opponent so we give them respect so they respect us too so this is the same thing we learn from uh, physical education that uh, respect our opponents and uh, respect the rules and regulations given by a particular uh, game so every game has a rule every particular sport has a particular set of rules to be followed so while we participate in that we learn that how to respect the rules and how to respect our opponents and the seventh one we can see that that uh, it performs to bring out the hidden talents so until and unless once we try to play we would not be able to know that uh, where our skills are uh, uh, to be shown the best or uh, we can see that uh, many children uh, are there so all these uh, children uh, cannot be all of them cannot be considered to be of the best talents uh, uh, with uh, all kinds of all, all sorts of games or all sorts of uh, sports some may be skilled with uh, athletics some may be uh, skilled uh, with uh, what you can say games and uh, even in athletics we can see that some will be uh, better in uh, sprint as well as uh, some in uh, other uh, uh, sports items so we can see that uh, whether it is throwing or even sprinting uh, in whatsoever may be the kinds we can see that so all the killer talents would be coming out while we take part a play so that is taken out from a particular person through physical education and uh, eighth one we can see that it develops discipline and uh, will power so we can see that many skills are there that we have already discussed stress management that is managing one's emotions and the stress uh, how to face a uh, stressful situation and uh, confidence and uh, it develops confidence and uh, again we can see that it, it brings discipline and uh, uh, will power so will power is again connected with the stress management as well as that uh, uh, what we can say that uh, discipline is connected with the rules and regulation by following rules and regulation we learn that how to respect rules and regulations those who would be respecting the rules and regulations in a game would be able to respect uh, himself as well as his opponents and moreover wherever he works he would be able to uh, be he will be able to be discipline himself and uh, uh, be a role model in front of others so discipline is brought out with the uh, physical education and again the will power is developed with physical education we can see that uh, the, as the ninth point physical intellectual and the cognitive abilities of a person so, so the physical strength through the training and the uh, intellectual uh, caliber and uh, more over cognitive sense so you have just studied about uh, how the uh, sorry you have was that uh, how the small kids are uh, be moving so when uh, for the first time when a child would be holding something he or she would be trying to hold with the two hands 
and uh, later on we can see that as the stages develop as he or she just uh, gets uh, mature we can see that uh, he or she starts to hold with uh, all the things with a uh, single hand so even then when we would be throwing a ball he or she may not be able to catch it uh, tight but uh, later we can see that when he or she gets a, uh, a bit mature to hold something or to, uh, 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 to to get something in his hand by the time we have to do the calculations in our mind too suppose if I am throwing a ball and uh, if you have to catch it by the time how the things happen so first of all if I would be catching a ball I have to calculate the speed of the ball so at the velocity of the ball would be coming to me the velocity is calculated and which angle I should raise my hand or whether it is twisted and whether I should move that side or whether I should take my uh, steps of foot to one side right or left all these things are to be decided and uh, that means the cognitive sense uh, sorry cognitive uh, side of the human being works out by the way and that is connected with the physical that is motor activity and again finally we can see that uh, that uh, sort of training would be changing a person of a better intellectual uh, condition so we can see that uh, uh, that physical education also has a part to produce uh, that uh, to develop the physical intellectual and the cognitive skills of a person to be a better leader and the last one that we can see that emotional ability so one would be learning that how to manage emotions so we have uh, discussed that when we would be taking the case of a defeat or a victory so a well balanced personality would be taking both of them equal so whether neither victory nor uh, defeat that uh, bothers him but only one thing bothers him that is the participation so I am the part of this team I am the part of this uh, togetherness I am the part of this brotherhood that makes me the part of the team so this team spirit would be just reducing uh, that uh, the, what you can say the feeling of failure and moreover that would be giving us a stable personality a balanced personality to be a better leader this is the end of the class we will discuss the further part of the chapter in the next module and uh, till then be safe and uh, stay at home and be happy thank you have a nice day